Gabriels presents a great entertainer, Mr. Dick Van Dyke. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. If you wonder why I'm wearing such a happy face, it's because I am going to be the spokesman for Gabriel Industries, and I'm very, very pleased about it. Because I've been a family entertainer all my life, and I've worked hard trying to give people some fun and a laugh or two. And you know, Gabriel is also in the family entertainment business. And I have such respect for the great job they've done in coming up with exciting and wholesome products for all kinds of people of all ages, from little tiny toss up to gray haired grandpas like me. Of course, my own personal all time favorite is the Erector Set. You know, I can remember the Erector Set I had when I was a kid. And then there's Othello, there's Jim Dandy, Papa Matic, Busy, just a few of the other great names in the Gabriel line. And the thing is that, like all great entertainers, Gabriel understands that you have to keep updating your material year after year. And I think that's why they come up with the best line of new products they've ever had. I've seen them, I've played with them, and I'm very excited about them. I think you will be too. So, right now, why don't you just uh, relax and have a look at Gabriel's Great Entertainers of 1977. Take it from me, Dick Van Dyke. You're going to love them. And now, Professor Nod, assisted by Mr. Dick Van Dyke. You want to see my impression of a turtle? Impression of a turtle. You got it, turtle? You want to see my impression of a turtle racing? Would you like to see that one again? Now, would you like to see a whole tournament of turtles racing? Here it is. Thank you. This is Gabriel's great new race game, Professor Nod's Tournament of Turtles. And the professor is a great gimmick that is sure to score. You would concur with that, would you not, Professor? Mm-hmm. You can see he's not just another pretty face. He is a randomly programmed device. When you insert this card, the professor will either nod his head yes, or he may shake his head no. As you can see, there's no way to predict how the professor is going to react. But if he nods his head yes, that means that your turtle gets to jump over the bridge and take a shortcut. The professor will look great on TV. He's one of Gabriel's great entertainers for sure. And you know, Gabriel research studies show that kids 4 to 10 react to him just like a human being. They'll do all kinds of crazy things just to get him to cooperate with them. Isn't that correct, Professor? <laughs> I don't think you know who I am, Professor. Yes, he knows who I am. And now, Gabriel presents... Clobber. Mr. Van Dyke. <laughs> Did it? You know how good it can make you feel sometimes just to haul off and give something a good clobber every now and then? Well, this year, one of Gabriel's great entertainers is a new chase game that makes that impulse even more fun than ever. And it's called Clobber. It's Gabriel's latest pop o -matic game with a crazy new kicker. And the kicker is Mr. Clobber. When you find someone else's playing piece in your way, you just grab Mr. Clobber pull back his spring action leg and blast away. And there's also a strategy involved in trying to win by being the last one left on the board. Of course, young kids are mainly interested in putting Mr. Clobber to work. And that simple, dramatic play action is what makes Clobber so perfect for television advertising. Clobber. Kids get a big kick out of it. And now presenting, Shoots Away. Shoots away! I think it's Mr. Van Dyke. Hi, folks. Just dropped in to tell you about a great new Gabriel toy. It's called Shoots Away. Watch this. Ready? Aim. Shoots away. Bullseye! Now, the object is to drop these supply chutes from this rescue plane into the targets on the moving terrain below. And to test your skill, you sight through this incredibly realistic viewfinder. You move the joystick in or out to line the plane up with your target, and let her fly. Oh, darn it. Wait. Shoots away. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, another great thing is this auto-wind mechanism, because it means that shoots away needs no batteries. 
Officially, we rate this for kids five and up. Unofficially, for fathers from 18 to about 80. It looks like another great entertainer from Gabriel. Shoots Away is one target toy that cannot miss. And now, presenting the stuntman. You know, I have always thought that stunt work was the most exciting part of show business. I'm not a professional stuntman myself, but I have done a lot of my own stunts in pictures. And right now, I'd like to give you a kind of a demonstration of professional movie stunt work. Leslie, would you come out and help me with this? Now, I'll give you this bottle. If you'll stand behind that chair, I'll give you the scenario. I'm the good guy and you're the bad guy. All right, now, when I give you the signal, I want you to hit me with the bottle, but not until I give you the signal. There's a kind of a trick in tensing yourself up at the moment of impact so you don't get hurt. Now, don't do it till I signal you. Okay, hit me. Did I hurt you, Mr. Van Dyke? Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm not hurt at all. You know why? Thank you, Leslie. The bottle was made out of simple candy glass. And the table? Nothing but painted styrofoam. And that's the way they do it in the movies. Now that you know all about stuntmen, I want to show you something. It's an exciting new Gabriel toy called the Stuntman. And he is the first real action character because he's got a unique, fully jointed, reflex action body. Now that means he can tuck and roll like a real stuntman and do a lot of other things that no other action figure has ever done before. And he's not just your basic everyday stuntman either. He was modeled after Hal Needham, the guy that I consider to be the best stuntman in the business. But don't take my word for it. Listen to the way other show business people talk about him. Ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood's greatest stuntman. Let's welcome Hal Needham, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest stuntmen alive. Right here. Now, that's what I call an action figure. And Hal's jointed reflex action body means he is as loose as a goose. And when you put him on his special air ram launcher, he can dive, tuck and roll, and do all kinds of wild western stunts. Of course, the little fella ought to be good. Hal Needham personally helped design him and the entire set from top to bottom. So it's full of all the tricks and techniques that real stuntmen use. Like this line that helps stuntmen simulate being knocked backward in fist fighting scenes and gun battles. Then, of course, there's the old breakaway furniture routine. And the stuntman's old western cafe has a breakaway table and chair and a banister that comes flying apart when the stuntman comes tumbling down. And to duplicate the classic high fall scenes, trust me, the set has a slow fall platform that can topple Hal from four different places. Then, to build even more play value, Gabriel includes a whole passel of movie making equipment, complete with storyboards and glossaries of film terminology, so kids can make up plots and pretend they're actually filming a real western movie. Now, a typical sequence might go something like this. Lights, sound, camera, Action! Cut! That a boy, Hal. Another victory for law and order. Hal Needham, the stuntman, one of the greatest of Gabriel's great entertainers. Look at him tuck and roll. Just like a pro. Mr. Van Dyke? Yes. Will you do a tuck and roll? Well, I can do a tuck and roll, but you see, you have to have somebody to hit you first. <laughs> Are you sure this is the way Hal Needham started? Well, now you can understand why I'm so excited about being the spokesman for Gabriel's great entertainers in 1977. Clobber and Professor Knott are two surefire new board games. Shoots Away is a terrific new target toy, and Hal Needham, the stuntman, is really a super new kind of action figure. With new Gabriel products like these, you can't miss having a very big year. And I might add that since I'll be doing all the commercials, I also will get all of the credit. Isn't that right, Professor Nod? <laughs> Half the credit? How about a nice, polite little thank you? Would that be all right?
We're going to discuss this backstage.